What comes included is a hard drive cloning software CD with installation guide, serial ATA data cable, a USB to mini USB for the USB enclosure. You also get a Molex to serial ATA power adapter, all of the relevant mounting brackets and screws to put this into a, a standard 3.5 inch drive bay, and of course the drive itself in an anti-static bag. Now taking a look at the drive in some detail, we can see that it, firstly it uses this sort of gunmetal grey uh, material, and it has got this sticker encompassing most of the drive. It tells us that it's made by Kingston Technology. This particular one is 64 gig and it's part of the SSD Now V Plus series. And one thing you will notice on this sticker is the model number down here which is the SNVP325-S2. Now S2 basically means that this is the second generation drive so it has got an improved controller. It now uses a Toshiba controller instead of Samsung and it does also mean that this has got the updated firmware on there so just be sure of that if you are buying one of these drives. For mounting this drive you will find that there are relevant screw holes on the actual drive itself and you can see if you are going to use the brackets then they're going to come in really really handy and there are screw holes two on each side. And taking a look at the back of the drive we can see there are plenty more screw holes we got one here, one here, one here and one down here and you can also see that there are various screws on here as well including one that's just under a warranty sticker and this basically means that if you remove this sticker it will void the warranty. Finally taking a look at the connections on this drive it's nothing out of the ordinary. Straight away we can see the serial ATA power connector, serial ATA data connector and also jumpers. Now these jumpers are for use when flashing the firmware. 